Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create custom insert like this one using the screw modifier to give you this result. The screw modifier is really interesting because it allows you to have something as simple as possible and to edit on the fly the number of segments of your object. For example, I will just launch this screw on speed flow and I will be able to change to decrease the number of segments to give the result I want or to increase, etc. This is pretty interesting because you can make uh, the same asset in non-destructive workflow uh, for game assets, for baking, or for subsurf if you want. If you want to make a game asset, you will decrease the number of segments. If you want to make a bake uh, asset for the uh, baking, you will increase. And if you want to make it for the subsurf modeling, uh, you will decrease to add, for example, 8 or uh, 16 like this and after you will finish your object. So this screw modifier for this is pretty powerful because it allows you to edit it on the fly and make several versions of your object. So I also use custom thumbnail like here and in fact I already made a tutorial about how to create custom thumbnail so I will not make a new tutorial on this one you will just have to watch the previous one and you will be able to do the same it's pretty simple I just have some uh, some light a camera in square mode and I press render after I will just uh, choose image render it, select my render result and click OK like that I will have directly my render here so watch the previous tutorial and in this one we will just see how to create different version of this screw insert to give you some nice results. Okay, so let's start. I will hide all of this. I will remove the boolean on this one with control. I have just this cube with a little bevel, as you can see a bevel with four segments to have something really nice. I will come on the front la first layer to create my screw. In this case, you can create a plane. You can go in edit mode. You can merge everything like that. You will have your origin at the center of the, of the grid and only one vertice. You can go in front view here. You can move it with G middle mouse and the, to uh, constrain on the X axis, on the Z axis. You can press E to extrude and middle mouse to control on the X axis. And like that, you can make something. Uh, I will do this like that. Maybe move it in Z to have this result. Okay. After, I will press E and I will snap here. And that gives me this result. If you use speed flow, you will just create this and you will have your result on the fly directly like that. If you don't use it, you will have to come here. You will not have the white end because I'm, I'm using your build. You will create a screw that will give you this result. You will be, you will check the flip if it's okay. So as you can see, I need to flip the normals. You will change the number of steps like that. And you will change the smooth shading if you want or not. So as you can see, this is pretty easy. I created uh, directly an object. And since I created directly like that, the origin of my object is here. So this is pretty simple. Now I will just move this one here. I will show this one. I will make uh, something like that. I will make a boolean. And that's it. I created my screw. And this one, I will increase the number of segments like that. And that's it. My screw is done. I will just have to go in my camera. Maybe make a scale on this one to place it correctly. Maybe increase the number of segments if you want, etc, etc. And now you just have to press render. And wait a little. My render is finished. I will come back in this one. I will name it. So I will just use the name nomenclature of this one. Up. Up. I will click on the plus, I will choose image, I will choose JPEG, rendered, render result, and I will click OK. So now I will have my new screw. So if you want to make a different version of this one, you can exit here. You can edit this one and why not move it like that or even select this one and you plan. No, in Z, 
move it like that. So if I come back, I will have this result. So I can rename it six. I can make my render that will create my new render with this one. I will wait. And that's it. My object is created, is renamed correctly. I will just click on the plus, image, jpeg, renderer, choose render result, click OK. And I will have it to the asset management. So like that, you can create a bunch of uh, different uh, screwballs. <laughs> I name them screwballs. And uh, you can do whatever you want. If you want to add, for example, a bevel here, you just have to select the vertice. And with SpeedFlow, you just have to launch the bevel modifier. I will press two to not see the, the, uh, the wire. And that's it. I created a new one. I will name it seven. Like that. I will make my new render. And it's okay. Done. I just have to add it now to the asset management. Select render. Click OK. Fast. If you want to edit it, make another version, you will just go in edit mode, press G, for example, make uh, an extrude like that, like that, and make it at the center of the scene, boom, and you will have this result. You can, of course, add here a little bevel to have this result. I will just have to move it like that. You can change the number of segments. And you will have this kind of result. So right now I created a new screw like that pretty easily. I will make my render. I ob obviously rename it correctly. I will have to wait now. That's it. 3D view plus render result. Okay. You can do this all the day <laughs> to make as many uh, screws as you want. And that's it. If you want, you can add uh, a part inside here. So I will come in edge mode. I will press this. And if you don't press this, you have to press shift D, separate, etc. So this one will do all of this directly. Uh, you can press shift on the display mode to show the object as render. I will remove the bevel because I don't need it. And in edit mode, in fact, I will also remove the vertex group like that. I will select this one, press E, and I will align it to the X axis to make it at the center of the scene. And after I will add a new bevel. I will change the number of segments and shift W to add again a new bevel. And in this case, I will add four segments. So that gives me this result. I will on the uh, shader list select the object and the uh, shader I want. If I make my render, I will have this result. So on this screw, you have to be careful because if you look, you have the steps and the render steps. So you have to match them. So I will press K, 48, enter. So now my render will be okay. On this object, you have to be careful also to activate the uh, render here because it was a boond object previously, so it was not uh, rendered. So now I have this result. I will parent it to this one, like that, and that's it. If I move this one, the other one will follow. So pretty simple. I will rename this one. In fact, I will remove all the, uh, the zero because uh, it's not uh, it's not easy to see the number here. And I will remove this. I uh, rename this one too. Up, come uh, nine zero zero one like that. So now I have this object. I can make my render that should work correctly like that. I will uh, pause. My render is finished. I will have this. So now I can select this one like that and add it to the asset management. And just select the render result. Click OK. And that's it. I created my new screw like this one. So pretty, pretty easy. Uh, we just check the origin. So normally with the origin correctly placed, I will have something correct. And I will add to, for example, just to test, I will go here, shift Z, S shift Z in fact, like that, I will add a little bevel with four segments. I will select a face, this one, and I will select this 
to place it. And in fact, it's not placed correctly, but it's not really an issue. I will just move it, make a boolean, and that's it. I created directly my object. And in fact, I can do something like that if I want, since my object is more, uh, or something like that. So, uh, as you can see, this is pretty easy. You can create a bunch of screw modifiers, uh, screw objects, and uh, add them to the asset management. Uh, make a fast render. Just have to prepare your, uh, a scene with the render you want, and that's it. Create your object. You can add some other object, and that will work. Pretty, pretty simple. And with this uh, little uh, insert, you can create something like that by adding some other booleans, etc., etc. So you can look at all my video to see uh, the result. And in fact, I added this one. I edited a little and I added some other bools, and that gives me this uh, this result. So pretty simple, pretty nice. Everything is editable. So if you want, you can make it uh, non-destructive or destructive if you want also. You can do both in speedflow. So this is pretty interesting. You can, of course, uh, add a new material on this one. Yep, like that, if I want something red, or something more uh, like that. And after I can play with the uh, settings to have this result. So, you can do whatever you want, and you can create some uh, nice shapes like that, add everything in the asset management, and use it on the fly on your object. So that's it. I hope you, this video uh, was uh, good for you. It was uh, interesting and uh, easy to follow. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm too fast on the video uh, tutorials. Uh, speed flow, <laughs> speed flow. <laughs> and that's it. So uh, see you later and thank you for every people who support uh, us with uh, by buying who addons on Patreons, etc. Bye bye.